Hello everybody, welcome to season 52 of CCL. Oh wow, starting with a blitz. We've got Thurun and his pretty good dwarves versus Ducky, who was, you know, a bit, bit of a beginner, not very well known at all. First time on the Chalice scene with a pretty amazing orc team that I don't know how he's managed to build. Um, in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello everybody. And we have this uh, Ducky guy with orcs versus dwarves, classic uh, new players to Blood Bowl teams. <laughs> and this uh, game, we're going to dedicate this game to our viewers in Azerbaijan. No. Oh, the capital Baku and the national flower is the Ofris Kausika that you can put it in the graves of some of those uh, players there. <laughs> yeah. And the national dish is called Plof, mm. which I found absolutely hilarious. <laughs> can I have a nice dish of Plof? <laughs> Pretty good. This is a devastating bit, wasn't it? Knocked over three players thanks to the bomb and uh, the boom. He's got boomer, and that's all. So pretty, pretty close TV teams. Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? I'm surprised they're that close in TV. I guess because he's got 14 players. They've both got 14 players, but Ducky's bench is cheaper than Thurin's bench. So there is more power on the pitch for Ducky. Pretty nice team. Not as funny enough, not as good as the other orc team, I don't think. But uh, pretty nice. More min max, isn't it? More TV efficient, I guess. But well, TV efficient is called when you don't roll uh, uh, stats. <laughs> yeah, which is just like he hasn't got that skill. Like he, he's got the bare minimum, hasn't he? Block guard and all four black orcs is like exactly what you want. But like you'd rather have block guard, mighty blow, stand firm, like. Like the other team we saw, but yes. block guard troll is pretty amazing. But he has a so pylon, he has a strength for a blitzer, he has a very nice uh, ball carrier. Yeah, it's really nice. And everybody has guard, ex except the pylon piece. Everybody else has guard. That's 10 guard on the, on the pitch right now <laughs> for the orcs. Yeah, 10 guard is pretty sick, isn't it? Four. No. Yeah, ten guard is really nice. I don't think uh, you know this base, base, base strategy by Thurun versus a team with ten guard. No, when dwarves are out guarded and out strength, it's bad times for them, isn't it? Yes. So maybe you know that uh, massive basing on that side, you know, giving that many free hits. Mm. Yeah, it's not. Probably uh, he goes sets up the palm hit next turn. It's yeah, it's probably not going to work out very well for uh, for Thurun. But you know he's got some stand firm, so he's generating some stand firm advantage. But yeah, it's and as a proper uh, dwarves org game, the ball hasn't moved. Nobody has moved any single square in the. Yeah, everything's still on the front line. <laughs> Amazing. It's a line of things punching each other. With our oh, hands. one deep out. Just when you needed it. Mm. Hoping to get lucky with the burn. Oh, Not the case. This actually is. This actually is uh, a, an, a dwarf, by the way. It looks like a goblin. In case, but it's a dwarf. in case you don't know, it is actually just a dwarf. It's just the cyanide of inept. No, they just decided not to make the model because there was uh, no need for it anymore. Mm. Oh, finally getting near the brick. Yeah, I think it's it. Even with armor across the board, like all these hits are eventually there's going to be some armor breaks and some removals, you would think. <laughs> Not yet. Yes. <laughs> Not yes, yet. Uh, eventually. It, it's going to take It's only time of three, you know, so. Ah, here comes. Is it going to be a chain into the stand firm? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, but the stand firm <laughs> doesn't stand firm. That's uh, good, good. You know, realizing that maybe you're not know, putting all your pieces in 
Direct contact wasn't a <laughs> the best chance, you know, giving seven free hits per turn. Yeah, he's finally, finally managed to disengage. Oh, goes for the dodge. Probably wouldn't have stood him up, honestly. With Armour 8, I think I would have probably just left him on the ground and tried to dodge the other one out. And now Duck is forced to advance and cross the line. Mm. Turn 4, something's going to happen. Ish. He's uh, using the blitzer instead of a Mr. Throw, so clearly this ducky uh, has learned from you, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yep, I taught ducky everything he knows. <laughs> Would have won zero uh, chalices without me. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Because the uh, the natural thing would have been to have blitzed this guy on the corner, but instead he blitzes there to support with more of the team and cut these guys off. Very, very nice. And uh, obviously base them. I mean, that guy in the corner is there, you know, but he's surrounded by guard on every single square. So, it's like... Uh... Oh, a pylon! Mm. Nothing. Doesn't burn. Doesn't boom, coward. <laughs> Absolute coward, yeah. Oh, it gets the. I, I, I like the deep safety sometimes. I'm not sure I like it too much against orcs that are beating you up, but. It's not terrible, I guess. Yeah, now, ducky has got multiple chances to bag these down. Blitz up. Two things. <laughs> so use the blitz to get a 3D. Oh, good job it was 3D as well. Yeah, I maxed 3D doing the job. <laughs> I mean, I think Ducky more or less must uh, feel very safe, you know, with the ball and all that, all that guard, the wall there. I don't see the dwarves being able to make a, you know, a breakthrough. Interesting, interesting, you yeah, moving the ball up, because this does bring this guy in, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, yeah, that's yeah. pretty hard. But I don't know, I would have just left it back there, and then... If he wants to hit this guy to try and get pressure on, then you know you can scoot forward. Whereas this way, it's... I guess if you stay back, you're encouraging him to hit this one. And if you go forward, you're encouraging him to hit this one. And this one. I don't know, I feel like I would have wanted to split... Them to split who they were hitting between this guy and this guy. Whereas this way is kind of more encouraging to... Just hit the top, but... It doesn't matter. <laughs> Was he blitzed? Did he blitz this turn? Is, is this guy doing the blitz? Right now he's falling to the ground. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. He stunned himself, you know, saving time uh, for the orcs. Very polite. Oh. Very unlucky, too. Yeah, the dwarves have got a loner guard. A merc with guards, that's 150. Yeah, that could have been a wizard. Interesting, it is an extra guard though, and they're up against 10 guard that outstrength them, so maybe that's better. A guard, a guard dwarf for the whole game is maybe better than a wizard for one turn, who knows? Indeed, Shattered Dice, yeah, it's funny, that's. That's been the attitude of lots of things to do with Blood Bowl for a long time, is that just people just don't want to, you know, rock the boat or upset the apple cart. 
too many changes to the main uh, skills. Yeah, so pretty much everyone's been terrified of making any, you know, significant changes forever. Which is weird, because it, you know, it's deliberately imbalanced anyway. Like, it's imbalanced by design, so it seems, you know, allegedly. So you, they can easily, you know, wave off any criticisms anyway, because they can say, well, Blood Bowl isn't meant to be balanced, you know? Halflings are meant to be worse than uh, Orcs, for example. So once you've already decided that, then why should you be scared of making something that might be better? But they are. Ooh, wrestle. Ooh, wrestle. Well, you say that, but then in uh, Blood Bowl 2020, uh, there are more than a few changes to star player races and the like. Yeah. And uh, Not a new cool. stat yeah, that, that, new uh, stat. that is going to make pace, passing even more rare. There is a new stat, but you know, Oa are a new team in the rubbish, and Ibnobs are a new team in the rubbish, and Corn are a new team in the rubbish, and Black Oaks are a new team in their rubbish. So, you know, the new teams are all rubbish. <laughs> it's the thing. Rubbish. The Old World Alliance do all right in NAF events by being mistiered. And Griff. <laughs> Basically. Oh. A blockless block. Bit tricky now for Ducky actually. Yeah, I've got to do this hit without a reroll. Yeah, Renegades aren't rubbish with this edition though, right? They were, they were in the old. They were in CRP, just not Blood Bowl 2. Or Blood Bowl 1. Like they were out when Blood Bowl 1 was out, they just weren't in ever in. For whatever reason. Oh, two dice on the ball. Ooh, diced. Dice, absolutely dice. That was a really good uh, turn for the dwarves there. Yeah, Besides honestly. The bar sorry, you, you can't ask for more, right? With with this dwarf team versus this orc team. And this yeah. orc team is coached by Ducky as well. That's pretty much as much as you can ever ask for. <laughs> Getting that 2D shot. If you get to the pow here, it's going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Oh, not only does he get the pow, he gets the cat. And that's an apple that uh, doesn't work. I hate the push direction there. I think you've got to push from here, right? So that you can pile on. Because uh, you couldn't have piled on. Man. It was a bit of a bit of a mistake there from Ducky, I believe. Could be wrong. Because Ducky did it, so... You know, <laughs> it probably wasn't a mistake. But it looked like Gross. a mistake for me. <laughs> I mean, the stand firm doesn't matter because he needed the power anyway, right? So it, he needed to. Uh, it doesn't matter about the. Doesn't matter about the stand firm. He, he's hitting here, so it doesn't matter whether his stand firms or not. It's it's his player, right? Wants to go here afterwards. So if you hit f from there, then you can pile. If you hit from here, you can't pile because then you've got to go one, two, three. If you hit from here and pile, then you can go one, two. So it's not about pushing him. It was about being able to pile because he was hitting with pile, wasn't he? Yep. So. I believe that was a mistake. Thomas T2. Mm. Seems someone also felt as a victim as me from having to add a number to their uh, name for no reason. Uh, ball carriage movement seven. Ah, yeah, so I guess if it might not matter, then I don't know where the ball carrier was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If he was here, it was right. Fair enough. Fair enough if it, if it didn't matter. <laughs> I would have still done it the right way. <laughs> um, That's how you teach people, you know, so then Ducky can go and win chalices with that knowledge. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. So, technically, would have been incorrect if he was movement six for the possibility of panic.
Thanks, Ducky. <laughs> I feel validated. <laughs> And now the try of making a vanity pass and uh... mm -hmm. I was a lot of GFIs, <laughs> but I'm guessing they have so much uh, bench that they can afford to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to add a number to mine, five mil, because reasons. <laughs> when I was trying to use five major, say no, you need to add a number. What, what, what is that? He didn't say, you know, it was already taken. Hmm. So the dwarves are down to ten here. Apple's gone. With that blitzer, don't don't remember when that happened. Oh, was that the was that the blitz? It was the blitz with the pylon that didn't pylon because it wasn't needed. And then and then the apple failed, I guess. On that. Yes, the apple failed. Mm. Um, really, really unfortunate uh, for the dwarves, you know, to be main down because they have, you know, bench, they have a uh, thick skull, they have the KO rolls. Mm. Oh yeah, so if it's a push, then you could, then you leave that on for the double dodge. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so maybe. Maybe I was wrong then. Maybe he was right. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter now anyway. Let's gloss over it. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I don't know if there'll be a live game, Glava. Trying to not do any live games. Trying to just do replays. I don't. I haven't even looked to when games are scheduled because I'm just trying to do the replays because you know they're so much it's faster it. and better, aren't they? Yes, and it's 32 games. This is stage. Yeah, 32 games in a week is... He's asking a lot to do any live. Like, I probably would have done some of them live, like some of the big games, you know, like this one. This is a pretty nice dwarf team and a pretty nice... Or, well, obviously, great orc team. Well, not a great orc team, actually. Pretty nice. Is it great? It's interesting. There's a TV efficient. I guess if you're calling the dwarf team great, then the orc team is... is like, the orc team is better than the dwarf team. So, yeah. Two very good teams. And like the the lizards versus the orcs would, would would have been an interesting one maybe, but yeah, it's Apple use huge. for the KO. Wow, Ducky is is all in here. Yeah, I think that's fair, right? You're a player up. Uh, the, the the you know the doors are down to ten men. You've got the strength advantage, the guard advantage. I hadn't taken any removals before that. Put in the put in the apple and uh, and hope you can get the stop here and just win one nil. Yeah, Skuro. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know, but he was he got he's got back into it because of Blood Bowl three, hasn't he? Same as uh, same as he's streaming right now. Yes, he started uh, or at least I saw him uh, streaming the other day. Yeah. So Russ that, and Lupac uh, both are as well. <laughs> yes. In the case of the Sage, it's uh, good news because uh, it surely means that he's feeling better after all the things that happened uh, mm. a, a while ago. So, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, well, it happened. A lot of stuff. Not good stuff. He has uh, some mental health problems that got uh, worse, and he had to more or less uh, retire from everything for a while. If you want more details, you can ask him in his uh, Discord channel. He's been very open about it. Yeah. But I don't think this is the right place to do that because it's actually yeah. really, really serious stuff. Yeah. And uh, probably fine, probably. Um, there has been a new trailer released today, funnily enough. Yes, I saw it in the channel, in the PlayStation channel. Uh, it was recommended by, uh, for me by YouTube. Yeah. And I watched the video and doesn't say much, but yeah, all right, the trailer there. 
Yeah, like some of the graphics look a bit better. It looks like it's like the players are a bit more clearer from the pitch and all. Like, cause here with Blood Bowl two, you've got like the pitch is pretty blurry and the players are pretty blurry as well, aren't they? Whereas yes. uh, in in Blood Bowl three, the the players were hyper detailed but so was the pitch whereas now they've kind of made the players still hyper detailed but the pitch a bit blurry so that's kind of better it was too sharp mm. Super that sharp. was the thing the, the, the mage was too sharp because like you know looking at this like it's pretty fucking blurry isn't it like do you know what I mean like the even the players are like pretty blurry I don't know like it's I know we've got used to it but it's like the player models are a bit soft, aren't they? And that, and it's, maybe that doesn't look good. And so, but then obviously, if you make the the pitch sharp as well as the foreground, then it just looks horrendous. Oh, big cars! Badly hurt. Ten v ten. Stupid troll. That the only argument they have against the app on the troll is that the troll is not an actually very reliable piece, but it's a strength five guard block piece. So yeah. Yeah, you really, you really want it. like it's perfect for dwarves, right? Like dwarves is the perfect game for the troll. Where oh my god, that's brutal. Oh god, boy howdy. Oh boy howdy, that foul, good foul. Yep, the pendulum has swung to in the dwarf's favour now, I would say. I wonder if... I wonder how, like, Ducky will change how he plays it now. Maybe he's thinking he's a bit more desperate. It's impossible to know what the Ducky is thinking, you know. Even if he's in chat, who's going to trust Ducky? <laughs> oh, re-roll there. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, Ducky is feeling the pressure here. Yeah, that reroll was pretty rowdy. The or are the dwarves turning the tide? Mm. Maybe. I mean, there's no ball effect by the dwarves. If they keep, you know, another cast or another removal, yeah, it's gonna be big. It is. What has changed his mind? <laughs> wow, oh my god. Oh, it has to be Dimi. Dimi fell from the chair. <laughs> this is turning into a bit of a, a, you know, it's getting to a dicing now, isn't it? This is, uh, yes, yes. Brutal. Yes, the, the dwarves are rolling all the dice. Mm. Uh, still, Ducky is one up. Yeah, that's the thing, he's still, still going to score. Uh, still, yes, so I uh, still has the massive uh, strength advantage because the Black Orcs are there. Mm. Yes, they are still there, so... Just need to be a little careful. Yeah, he can hit back because of all the guard and the strength, so... While he's like, he's still, he's just down because of players, isn't he? But the, the fact that the individual players he's got are still strong means he can still get these hits. And yes, big he can get the hits, and sooner or later, as we saw, you know, the removals are going to come. Yep. This is a dice game after all, and uh, dice at the end comes to the average. Yep. Despite what Dio says, it is a dice game. Lovely big brain players from both coaches here, just hitting absolutely everything they can, following up. <laughs> Entertaining to watch because there are cats and all that, you know? Yeah. You know, just like, just banging like this isn't going to be good enough for the doors because it is turn 13 and they still have got to get forward and score somehow. So, wow, starting with that dodge and a GFI, I flip me. This man needs to watch uh, PC uh, videos, you know, to know how to GFI with the, the dwarves. Yeah, that was... Oof. Boy, howdy, that was rowdy. So he's got—he's going to have to push now, isn't he? Because he's down to one reroll. Yes. He's opening his turn with dodges and GFIs. Oh, he hit with him. Oh, he hit with the wrong player. Oh, that was... 
That was pretty bad, wasn't it? Because don't you want to hit with this guy to push him back to there and then... And then follow, follow and then cover that and then you and can cover the other one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think he hit with a Now he, he's playing with the thing. I have more... I had Oof. more players and the troll and two black orcs were uh, stuck there. Well, now it's gone from horrendous for Ducky to actually pretty okay for Ducky, hasn't it? In the space of, like, one turn. And I guess I mean, he was... still has to put the, the orcs there, you know, in the, the general direction, but, uh, yeah. Oh, this troll, though, this troll. What a glorious spot for the troll. What a glorious oh, troll. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Either here or here would have both been amazing for the troll. That was a brutal, really stupid... What a terrible troll. <laughs> and this is like literally the best a troll ever is, isn't it? You know, against dwarves. They've got no strength. They've got no movement. So like, it's he's the perfect, perfect situation for a troll. Oh, yeah, this is tough with all the guard. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, get to the pow. Needed that pow. The game seems the 2D versus the strength 4, which gets the pow. Mm. Can't afford the reroll. The dwarves are uh, doing on nearly all the cast for both teams. <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god, god, the troll! <laughs> Suck this never troll. Up, never up on the troll again, Ducky. Never up on the troll again. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was up on the KO only for him to never do anything for the rest of the half. <laughs> amazing. Wow, another greed hit from Ducky there. Interesting, isn't it? Like, obviously not a, a greed in so far as greeting for damage, greeting for position, like not wanting to get his strength force stuck on these players, but uh, still interesting. Interesting to see. Like, that's a lot more interesting than the than the people who just, you know, re-roll their claw mighty hit because they want to kill things. Interesting I... that twice Ducky has gone for a positional re-roll. Greed, re -roll. I mean, it's still greed, right? Wow. wow! This is rowdy. It's turn 15. This is also. very, very rowdy. Turn 15. This could have gone and been wrong at so many levels. <laughs> and it's going to be wrong at so many levels because that dodge makes that... I don't know. There is a chance of a 2D hit on the ball. There is, yeah. But not with tackle. Not with tackle. So, But he can push him into tackle at least. Oh, Wee! finally the troll decides to move. Hey. Oh, not easy. Oh. Not as easy to get the two D now. Makes the dodge. Reroll has to come in now. Yeah, not. No, oh, doesn't even get him on tackle. <laughs> ta 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 ta. I guess it had been a one day anyway, so he couldn't have put him on the tackle. Or it wouldn't have been very good to put him on tackle. He's gonna come to for the dwarves to a one in nine to a score. Yeah. Eight times out of nine, he gets it. Unbelievable. And um, very good job by the dwarves uh, managing the the score. Yeah, they, they did got some well. positional advantage on the. Versus uh, Ducky, you know, they have uh, random long beers keeping busy the the Black Orcs. And the fact that the troll has been completely useless also was a big help for the dwarves. Yeah, yeah, they got those early cars, but then they, they got they got KO'd back a hell of a lot, so... <laughs> yes. Yeah, it ended up a big struggle. Yeah, it was very, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, some some swings on, some big swings just on the dice. Never mind the uh, 
Yeah, that yeah. if you are a roll more pause and uh, deaths, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah they, it was very tight, very, very tight. I mean, uh, because at this, uh, you know, teams depend so much on, you know, getting a cast here or a cast there. That makes a huge difference. Oh my god, J5. J5 fucking trolling. <laughs> Sorry, he's got it. I'm gonna delete his comment. <laughs> Fuck's sake, J5. <laughs> like, it wasn't bad what he wrote, but he's just trying to fucking start shit. <laughs> Oh, what, another blitz! What is with all the blitzes today? Jesus. No, it doesn't get to do anything with this blitz, though. Also, we've got the troll, we've got the throw teammate. Chance. Uh, where's the kick? Too far away. That's why he's running away. I do like the uh, like having a goblin. If you're gonna have a troll, I think you should have a goblin. Just yeah, it... if you have the troll, you have to get the goblin. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's it's not a great chance for one turn, but it's a chance, and it doesn't really cost you anything because you're still gonna make these hits. You know, with mighty blow and that whatever happens. Oh wow. Oh well, okay. Troll gets vindicated. <laughs> yeah, huge. Well, it did cost him something actually because he took this guy back. Pumming, so it did a bit. Gone for the one turn. Did. Cost him something. Surely this guy should have been on the LOS to get Pom on the hip. Mighty blow, he doesn't have pylon. No, th this one. This one should have. Ah, okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Been why, on why, the why was it? He's there to get the ball for the one turn, right? But yeah, yeah, no, no. The on the screen, on the screen, the player that appeared was the other one. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Oh. Gets a cheeky little completion. Inflating the stats, you know, the... Oh. And the Dwarves a bit screwed by the KO recoveries and very screwed by the coin toss. And that looks to be GG. Don't say it's over, but there's not that many Dwarves, is there? Nine Dwarves. Versus the full 11 orcs still. The orcs are down two blitzes. But the dwarves are down a bit of quality as well. Two yeah, a players. lot of quality. Yeah. yeah. And the orcs uh, started uh, hitting people in the face, so... Yep. Correct. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Ah, Strength Fault blitz the screen. Ah, okay. Okay. Interesting. I never know if it's worth to blitz the screen, but I guess he had so few players it did make it worth to blitz the screen. Because you end up having a player in, in the way yourself, don't you, when you do that? Depending on how fast you are. Oh, very nice animal break. Very nice animal break. Mm. Pylon disappointing. Tragic. Now, time to pick up the ball, yes. Mm. And that pick up almost seals the deal now, doesn't it? Because next turn he's going to be right up behind the line. He's got the bonus strength for carry. Like, maybe, you know, with a few failed pickups. I know they're on dwarves, but still something could have happened, right? They could have they could have piled in here. Oh, I don't like this. Uh... <laughs> mm, that's very rowdy.
Hopefully find me is all right there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, I struggle with both uh, with things I think about play. I think that the uh, random line was probably maybe a better target mm. for the Blitz. More chances of getting him down. Yeah, it was very rowdy. But, you know, like, he's desperate, right? At the end of the day, Thurin's so desperate now that I guess he's, you know, he's thinking, look, maybe if, if I do this, I can get super lucky. Like, you know, he's got to get so lucky now to win that you've got to give yourself the chance to get lucky, haven't you, is, is the thing. So, in a vacuum, as the Welsh would say, <laughs> I would say that was a terrible move. But when the only way you can win is by getting ridiculously lucky, then it gets close. I mean, I would have still just gone for the all. You know, I'd have still just gone for the line all, but I can understand. Like, I, I, I like that more than people who, you know, def defend I mean, a 1-0 and lose 1-0 rather than trying to get 1-1, you know what I mean? Like, there's some people Yeah, I mean, maybe. if the doubtless works, it was two dice anyway, the first uh, hit, so... That's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Still don't like it, though. <laughs> I don't like it. I do generally want to go for the... The much higher odds play, but oh, fails the dodge. Yep, but it is good play. It is definitely good play to go for the riskier, higher payoff things when you have to. Right? That's the thing. Yes, you have to go to that blood ball moment. Yeah. Lots of blockless blocks here, so yeah, get the ball up first. And strength four, so it's just really hard to get punished for anything here. Oh wow! Oh wow! Now it's really GG. <laughs> yeah. If there was any doubt before, now it's gone. <laughs> Brilliant. Stand firm. Black Oak not even supporting the uh, the ball area. Doesn't have to. It's over. Don't say it's over, but it's definitely over. <laughs> Trying to cause some impact here, so Ducky will remember this game. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's something, isn't it? That was uh... where, where that comes from. Oh, it's Hancock. It's 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 too it's too it's too. It's too to explain. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you can trust me that it's very funny, Fimey. <laughs> oh, it's one of these things that happens on the SFL uh, Discord. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's, it wasn't on the SFL Discord, but it was really funny. It was really funny. It was really funny. That's that's all I can say is it was really funny. Whew. Oh yeah, going for the going for the handoff, obviously. To try, I mean, it's, you've got to do this, haven't you? Like, there's no chance of losing, really. It's a bit. Now I guess there's a little bit of a chance of losing. It. God, you've got to try this to skip this guy. You know, this uh, dwarf team has a problem with uh, rolling dice and their armor. I mean, they, they, they even use armor. <laughs> yeah, they, they were pretty fucked up, the dwarves. 
Dicing's a bit harsh, but uh, they definitely had the worst dice. And you don't want the worst dice versus Ducky when you've got the worst team. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yep. I don't know, I mean, like, the Orcs are always going to, like, get more blocks and stuff, weren't they? And then, like, lots of mighty blow hits, so, like, you probably are expected to get ba out bashed pretty heavily anyway, so... Who knows? Yes, but, I mean, he has removed and stand his own players most of the game, you know? It's, like, <laughs> very unlucky that the sense. Yeah. Ah, uh, there you go, pick up the ball, and now... No hurries, no need to push anything, just... And no reason to stall either, could try, could could stall and just, you know, get more mighty blow hits and try and skill, but I'm, you know, I don't think you really want to take any mighty blow hits either, do you? So I think you just bang this in. Yep. Do the 3D uh, blitzes yeah. and hits, if you can get them, and other than that. Only one. Only one 3D. There you go. And finally has the missing part of a ducky team, the dirty player. Yeah, uh, right. A, a ducky team without a dirty player. What the hell? <laughs> absolutely disgusting. And funny enough, the orcs suffered more armor breaks. They yeah. look like it. Yeah, yeah. Um... Unbelievable. So there you go. Commiserations, Thrun. Congratulations, Ducky. Incredible oh, MVP. Yeah, very good. Incredible MVP. MVP now that or can get guard and, you know, and be the 11, 11 uh, men uh, guard team. Four. Yeah, incredible stuff. Thank you very much, Fangy. Glorious having you in the booth as always. As always, a pleasure to be here and I hope our viewers in Azerbaijan enjoyed the game. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.